what is up YouTube welcome back to the Rogue Painter channel I'm the Rogue Painter aka JD and for this video we're going to be painting the base for the Maunchie, Maya Morn Banshee that is the one uh, that we did in the previous video I'll have a link for that down in the description I'll put something up in the corner here uh, so click that if you want to have a look at that video uh, like I said there you can use these videos in one or two ways you can either start with this one paint the base first then move on to the banshee or you can paint paint the banshee and then move over to this video for the base um i find that if you keep the banshee separate it's easier to paint the base you can get right underneath the banshee without worrying about getting paint on the banshee as you can see when i painted up the banshee i've got some paint onto here which wouldn't have been good uh had we done it the other way around and finished the base first so without further ado let's get started so first of all, we're going to uh, grab some wrong one, some Mornfang Brown, and we're just going to pretty much cover the base with this, um, mainly the stump and the dirt areas. So we're just going to put an amount of that on our palette here. Obviously, I'm using the same palette from the previous video or next video, depending on which order you're watching them in. And all we're going to do is just liberally apply this over the top of everything um, with exception to the roses obviously the vines will be going over with the green anyway so not to worry too much about them and if you can avoid going over the uh, the stone areas there as well that'll be good if not, don't worry too much. Like I say, we're painting over the top, so not a problem. So while I'm doing this, um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos from me. Um, I know there are other tutorials out there, but I figured, you know, I'd like to show the way that I paint. Uh, I have been told it's a little bit more unique, um, sort of a little faster. But, uh, you know, let me know in the description if, if you enjoy the videos or if you don't, then, you know, let me know why. And uh, I'll see what I can do for future videos. If there's anything you would like to see painted in the future, obviously Mortal Realm Mondays is the Mortal Realms magazines, but I do do other videos, um, other miniatures. So if there's anything else you'd like to see or any specific uh, technique, then uh, you know, let me know in the description, and I'll uh, see what I can do for future videos. Uh, if you'd like to support me on Patreon. Uh, you know that would be great greatly appreciated and also you'd be able to access the the patreon site for uh, chatting posting photos of your work you know uh, there's there'll be a few more in-depth tutorials and stuff on there at the moment I do, uh, do only have PDFs but I'm looking to do a lot more higher detail video tutorials um, obviously they'll take longer but yeah so you know you can sort of join in with discussions there Show me what you guys are up to. You can ask for specific things. Um, you'll be eligible for, uh, uh, you know, competitions, entries, prize draws, things like that, um, which I do on my Twitch channel. Right, so uh, that's the base layer done, including the skull there. Not a problem. Just go over the other skulls here. It's fine. Right. So now that that's done. Oh, sorry with the camera there. We'll go in and apply some Evil Sun Scarlet to the roses. We'll thin that down slightly. And then we can just go in and liberally 
or carefully I should say apply that to the roses uh, if you want to do different roses you can you can do blues purples which is going for the, the traditional red here so that there obviously try not to get it on the brown area but it doesn't matter too much if we do and then the other one here obviously if you're doing different bases uh, for the other miniatures then they are slightly different but the uh, the general process is the same if you'd like to see a video for each of those let me know and I can make more for the bases but you know you get the basic idea of where we're going with it uh, so that is the two roses done there's no more on there so all we're doing is just applying a base layer for each sort of area at the minute so next on we'll go for the, the slabs or the, the pillars here sorry the slabs are on the other one of the other minis And again, these aren't designed to be, uh, you know, competition quality or anything. This is just to get them ready for battle, get your minis on the field, get them winning you some games. Right, and while we're here, we'll do the same for the base of the Banshee here. Obviously some of the, the base work does come up onto the miniature. Alright, now for the vines, we're just going to go in with some Cabalite Green. So we want to thin this but not too much as we don't want it running off these very very thin vines and down the sides of them or anything so again pull your brush to a nice point and then we're just going to find all the vines and all the leaves we're just going to give it a quick layer of this Alright, so once that's done, the next step is to take some Ishapti bone. And for this, we're going to go over the skulls. That's our skulls done. Now we're going to take some scrag brown and this will be a dry brush layer over the entire base, obviously trying to avoid the skulls and the roses, but not to worry if we do cover them a little bit. It's only going to be a dry brush layer, so can easily fix that. 
like so. Gently coming across all the edges of the wood and over the dirt. Try and come across the uh, the wood grain texture here rather than down it that way you won't get any paint into the recess areas of the texture right and then just take some of the shapti bone and some of the brown just make a small mix up here again we're just dry brushing and then just go over very gently just picking up the, the top highlights of the uh, the textures there just on the tree and across the skulls if you want just so the tree stands out against the uh, the mud a little bit And then if you want to mix in a bit more of the Shapti bone, you can go for another layer. It's entirely up to you how much you want to go over this. Don't worry about going over the green because we are going to put some highlights over that anyway. There you go, so that's the tree all done. Right, so now we'll just go back over with the Shapti bone. And just go back over these skulls. Right, and now we're going to take some moot green. slightly mix a small amount of that cabalite green in just to tone it up slightly there you go probably about a 50 50 mix and then over the vines just lightly catch some of the areas that are higher up you know areas like this that snake up over the top of the uh, thing there maybe the ends some of the thorns Obviously, we can catch some of the leaves as well. Again, you don't have to do the entire leaf, just try and pick off some of the edges. If you want, you can even go for some of that pure moot green and just pick up a couple, make them stand out a little bit more. And the same with a highlight here and just go for the very very tops there we go all right now we're just going to take some wild rider red just a small amount this is just for the tops of the roses don't need to add any water this is going to be almost a dry brush technique just with it without fully drying it on the paper towel we're just going to go across the top of all the roses like so and then 
from Dawnstone. Just for the pillar there. Same again, very small amount. This is going to be a, a dry brush layer just to catch the edges and the very top there. Don't use your best brush for this, it is going to mess the bristles up a bit. There we go. Right, and finally, just to finish it all off and uh, tone it a little bit, we're going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're just going to apply this over the base just to get in all those recesses, get in the eyes and nose of the, uh, the things there. Don't forget to go over the, the tree stump. And this is a wash that so will just fall into those recesses. The highlights that we did will dull down slightly, but not to the point where they'll go dark. You can do it it's literally over everything and it will leave a nice finish when it dries Right, and we'll come back once that's dried. Right, and there we have it, guys. One completed Myamorn Banshee. I will get a, uh, a photo up here just so you can see uh, an actual photo representation of it. Obviously, it doesn't come out as great on camera. But, uh, there we go. So, uh, like I said, guys, throw up uh, links to your Instagram uh, of your, you know, your versions, or if you join the uh, Patreon, it's only two pounds a month. And uh, you can access the, my Patreon and throw up uh, some, some photos of your work. And uh, let me see how you get on with it. So uh, until next time, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you're not a su subscriber already, please uh, consider hitting that subscribe button for more uh, Mortal Realms Monday videos. Uh, they are every Monday, with possibly the exception to next week as i'm still waiting for my order to catch up with itself i've just uh, upgraded to the premium so that we get some more miniatures out of it and i'll uh, explain that in the, in the next video but uh yeah i shall catch you guys next time thanks a lot